And this is one of the final videos of the build series on the BMW F30, guys. We have the full exhaust system, which is the last thing we need to put into this car to make it a run and drive car and actually start driving it, enjoying it, and enjoying all the modifications we've been actually putting onto this car. I haven't done an exhaust video in such a long time, and uh, this is a 328, so it's either gonna sound really bad or it's gonna sound good because it's a BMW. I guess we'll have to see, we'll have to see. I'm happy that once I fully assembled this car and wrapped up the entire thing, a lot of you guys changed your mind on the color and how the car looks. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I'm happy that a lot of you guys think it looks absolutely amazing. I do have to get some spacers. I do have to get some more carbon fiber touches. Those things probably do a little bit down the line. I wanna start making videos on the E91 M3 and the new project car. Um, so this is probably gonna be the final mod, guys, they're gonna be doing to this F30. So for those of you guys who have an F30, enjoy this video. And for those of you guys who like exhaust sounds, enjoy this video. Now, theoretically, if we cut the muffler right in the last video, um, this should be able to be a plug and play, and I'm really hoping it is. Otherwise, we're gonna have to get it welded up. So, fingers crossed, guys, it's direct plug and play, and hopefully it's gonna be pretty easy to install. So, at this point, I wanted to fully assemble the exhaust before actually putting it into the car. I just feel like it's gonna make life a whole lot easier. So, the first thing I went ahead and did is just put on, uh, or I transferred over, technically, the exhaust hangers from the original exhaust to this exhaust. Um, then I just started putting on the clamps and uh, screws to everything that, you know, combines everything together. Uh, reason why I did all this and I didn't tighten anything is just again to kind of mock up where everything's gonna be um, and just so it makes it easier to when I actually install it I don't have to try to fish screws in fish clamps in everything is where it needs to be and then I just pretty much adjust it tighten it and it'll be super easy to install so that's what I'm actually doing right here uh, let's just show you guys what Erlan is up to now while I'm actually trying to install the exhaust system we almost have it put together and installed into the car my boy Erlan just came over shout out to him he's gonna go ahead and help us install the brand new transmission pan this is from keys motorsports i think it's an aluminum pan looks super sick we have the filter right over here all the bolts um the gasket's already on here so this is much a resurface kit but at the same time uh we're bulletproofing it so it's gonna be pretty sick and at the same time if you ever want to service this they sell the full kit right over here and it pretty much just has the filter and it has all the bolts a new gasket everything like that so if you guys are wondering how do i resurface this they have a full kit sold separately for it so that's pretty cool but without further ado let's go ahead get this new pan in there new fluids new everything thing um, so our training is gonna be lasting a very long time You guys saw her along getting the old pan out. We're getting the new pan in. Why is this thing super zoomed in? Brand news, that's not as exciting as what's going on in the back over here, which is the AWE exhaust system. This thing looks super sick down here, but unfortunately, the one clamp that actually mounts it to the exhaust side of the car, um, it's just it's just not mounting. I think I cut a little too much, unfortunately, so I'll figure that out. If not, we'll just have to weld it up. Not a big deal, but for the meantime, at least everything else looks like it's lining up A-OK. -okay. So I'm not gonna lie guys, I tried installing that AWE exhaust and unfortunately I think I cut the pipe a little too short that I'm having a massive exhaust leak. Now my biggest fear is to drive the, take the, you know, drive the car to the exhaust shop just for them to weld a little section up. Um, and basically the pipe kind of falls on the ground and then it rips backwards, destroys my rear bumper, my carbon fiber diffuser, um, and just obviously destroys the exhaust. So I removed the exhaust. It's a complete unfortunate circumstance, but um, it's because I just cut it a little, it, it, it's, a, it's a user mistake. Things happen in life, it is what it is. It's not the end of the world, it's definitely fixable. It's gonna be $180 fixable, but it's fixable. So we're gonna take it down to the shop tomorrow, drop it off, have them weld that thing up together, and then we can finally hear some clips on that. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I drop it off and then pick it up.
Uh, so after dropping off the F30 to the exhaust shop, me and my brother headed back to the house, um, uh, mainly because we noticed that his i3 started acting up the same exact way as my i3 right before it took a complete dump and became a brick. Basically, the i3s have one little flaw, and that little battery that's in the front of the car, it's like so tiny. Um, that little battery, if it fails, uh, basically your car is a brick. You can't get into it, you can't cut off the alarm system, you can't drive it, you can't charge it, you can't do anything. You can't even put it into neutral. Like, literally, your car is a complete brick if this little battery goes out. So my brother's car, is i3, started showing the exact same signs as me. So I headed to BMW, first thing. Uh, saw these beautiful little, you know, little cars for some kids, you know. That's some baller stuff. It even has its own sticker price, its own, you know, included options and stuff like that. This thing had a USB drive, um, so you can, you know, hit up your jams. Um, got shift controls and all that good stuff. I wish I had an i3 when I was like three years old. But anyways, um, yeah, we went ahead, got the battery from BMW 2023. This bad boy should last them at least five years. It's gonna last me five years um, and we should be good. I don't think we're gonna keep our i3s more than five years. Like I'm gonna be straight with y'all. So right after we actually finished the install, we got a phone call saying the F30 is ready for pickup. And uh, yeah, it's time to pick up the F30 so you guys can hear how this thing sounds. It sounds um, pretty good for what it is. It's a, it's a 328, it's a daily commuter, but now it actually has some super nice aggression to it. Now it looks super good with the dual exit exhaust tips. And just the rear end just looks so much better, the 335i style. I'm gonna stop talking so you guys can go ahead and hear this thing. It sounds, pr again, pretty good for being a 328. <laughs> And now that we're back guys, I just want to show you guys the car. Look at the GTS taillights. Look at that carbon fiber spoiler, carbon fiber diffuser. I mean, guys, this build is just, it's so freaking clean. I mean, for the money that we're into it. And again, special shout out to Keys Motorsports for partnering up on this build. This F30 came out, you know, originally a Sportline package, which pretty much that just updates the interior. But you know, that looks great. We got the black headliner, we got the sports seats, we got the red striping. I mean, that's great and all, but the exterior needed a lot of work. And shout out to Keys Motorsports again for partnering up because the exterior now looks absolutely amazing. We got the M Sport bumpers, front gloss black grills. We did the dynamic ignition coils. We did spark plugs. We have a new strut brace just to add some aesthetic and some rigidity to the car. We added the fire extinguisher kit from Keys Motorsports, uh, the carbon fiber inner door handles to you know avoid all that sticky stuff and so much more, guys. If you guys missed any of the recent episodes, make sure to go back and check them out. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and give it its first wash after thousands of dollars worth of modifications were installed onto this car. A build is finally, I you can't really say it's complete, but for the most part, pretty complete. The F30 is looking absolutely amazing. It's fully put together. The exhaust sounds absolutely so good for what it is. It's a 328. Um, we had another 320 F30 before, and uh, basically we didn't do any you know modifications to it whatsoever. It came with a muffler delete, and it was so droney, and it was so annoying. Um, F30 328s with muffler deletes absolutely suck. Um, so for me, I just wanted an axle back exhaust um, that has a muffler and does add a little more aggression when you floor it um, so it sounds good but at the same time when you're driving it casually it sounds stock and that's again what I want for a 328 um, it's an amazing daily actually this car is gonna be my wife's car starting today um, she actually ended up selling her Supra so this is gonna be her new daily and we are gonna be doing some more modifications to this thing but I really wanted this thing to come together quickly um, because first off she needs a car second off uh, we wanted to do a cool little build series on it and third thing um, it actually bought us time technically uh, to get 
parts for the new build that's in the backyard. The, it's, it's an insane build, guys. Probably the most insane build I've ever filmed on this channel, and it's gonna be filmed on this channel. Very excited to show you guys. Again, in the near future, probably in, a, probably in two weeks, I'll probably announce what that car is exactly. So pretty soon here. In the meantime, we did get wrapping for the E91 M3. So you guys can put your guesses right down below. It was one of those three colors that we talked about in a past video, so uh, to be expected. But without further ado, guys, it is gonna have to conclude this video. E91 M3 content coming up here soon. Super excited to start driving that thing and taking it to some events and seeing you guys there and stuff like that. And uh, two weeks away from announcing one of the biggest builds, actually the biggest build this channel has ever seen. So <sighs> exciting stuff to come. Without further ado, guys, you're gonna have to conclude this video. So I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.